Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to display report name and header row on each of a page in SSRS. So by default when we create a report it does not display the report name and header row on each of a page. So let's go and take a look. First of all we are going to create our query and here is my query so I'm selecting a salesperson first name last name and all those kind of information from a sale total table. So let me copy this one and this is returning us 176 records. Now go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and we have the shared data source already. So it is sales that's pointing to our sales database. If you don't know how to create it, go ahead and watch my video how to create shared data source. Now go to reports and right click here, go to add and new item. Here we will be creating empty report. So we select a report and I'm going to call this one uh, header row on each page. Add. Once uh, you uh, hit the add, uh, empty report will be created. Here in the data sources, we have to use the shared data source. So we don't want to create a new one. We already have the shared data source. So we are going to use that one and uh, go to sales and hit OK. So here you see that data source one is pointing uh, to the sales uh, share data source. So double click here and give a proper name. So we called it DS sales. And now we will be creating a data set. So data set is a query that returns us some results. So add data set, right click here, add data set. Now we will be using the embedded data set. We don't want the shared one because this query is specific and only for this report, uh, this uh, this query will not be your results that will not be used uh, against other uh, reports. Uh, so we know that uh, and uh, here we will be selecting data source uh, and paste your query. Hit OK. Now bring a table here. So right click insert and then bring a table. So once we have the table, let's bring some fields so we can drag and uh, drop first name, last name, product name and the uh, item sold and uh, this is pretty much it we we are done with this now just click here and drag your columns uh, or the tablets here so you will have uh, properly fixed here i have a person sale person first name and all that so i can delete that leave them one this one first name and last name and the rest of that looks okay i'm gonna click here and bold it and uh, give some background color so let's give some background color and now we are good so we see that uh, the report is created. We have a column row here. We have first name, last name, product names, item sold and region. And if I will click on the next page, I will not see that uh, header. So on each page, I'm not seeing that information. Let's go back here. Also add, uh, insert and text box. So here is uh, our sale report. Let's say sale report. That's the name of the report. And we want to insert that here. Let's make it a little big drag and so we are in uh, the same length or width not width but the uh, length at least so I have the same one and now click here give some background color so let's make it yellow and then we are gonna make this one bold and give some uh, font size 14 and this is good now you see that the sale report name is uh, uh, come in on the very first page and the header is also coming on the very first page if we click here next page we don't see that information at all so what we need to do on each of the page we need that information so first of all to put this uh, sale report on each of the page what we are going to do we are going to add a report uh, sorry page header so I click anywhere here and then right click and say page ha add page header so once we have that one here uh, so what is going to do? add an item to the page header add an item to the report and then drag it to here okay so we have that already here we are going to drag it here fine so this is our page header so we can move it here and also we can move this line here make it close now the header is added the page header now this part let's take this one make it close to this one so there is a go to preview and now you see that the sale report com is coming here and then we have uh, the row uh, header row so let's click on the next one and now you see that the 
uh, report name is repeating uh, but we do not have uh, the row header that's repeating uh, so that's a problem we want to have first name last name and all that uh, uh, this first uh, row as well so what we need to do we need to go to design and then click here advanced mode and then here in the stat uh, static uh, uh, click uh, once you click it here you will see something uh, highlighted here so f, f name is highlighted so click here and then press f4 that will take us to the properties so if we right click if i will try to right click it's not taken me anywhere so not right click or left click is not helping me out anywhere so i have to press f4 once i press f4 it will show me this repeat on new page is set to false so i need to double click here or I just use a drop down and set to true. Once it's set to true, it should work and now it should repeat on each new page. So we are good. Let's preview it. And now you see that sale report is coming here. And then we have first name, last name, uh, and all that. And if I click next page, we have that information right there. So that's how you will be creating uh, your report with the uh, the report name on each of the page and uh, your header row on each of the page you will be using a uh, uh, page header for the here you will be using a page header to add that report name in that and then uh, you will be using static uh, here you will be going to advance and then in the advance you will be going to static and pressing f4 that will take you properties and setting repeat on a new page so that's how it is going to work so thanks very much uh, for watching this video and I'm going to see you in the next video.